Welcome to the video. This is MTG Anonymous. If you'd be uh, kind enough to like, subscribe, and comment to keep this channel going, that would be amazing. But let's get into the video. Alrighty. Mono blue. <laughs> yeah. This, uh, this deck is another annoying one. Uh, the last video had is that land destruction. This is mono blue control. So basically what we want to do is cast stuff on our opponent's turn and then when we can't, draw cards. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get into this part. Average CMC is 2.4 with 12 creatures, 22 instants, 1 artifact, 1 enchantment, 24 lands. First we have the Terramander for one blue, you get a 1-1 one, one Salamander Drake with flying, and then for 7 and a blue, Adapt 4. This ability costs one less to activate for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. And then flying, a creature with flying can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach, and then Adapt 4 if this creature has no plus one plus one counters on it, put four plus one plus one counters on it. So basically what we're doing with this one, we have 22 instants. In so, basically, as soon as we've got seven in our graveyard, then we're going to play this and adapt it. So then it'll, we'll have a 5-5 five, five flyer. Next is the Spectral Sailor. For one blue, you get a 1-1 one, one Flying Flash, Spirit, Pirate. And then for three and a blue, draw a card. Flash, you may cast a spell with Flash anytime. You could cast an instant. So there's a reason that we have this, not only for the bad card draw, because... Paying four for one card is kind of bad. You could use the encyclopedia and then pay three, but regardless, uh, we're gonna get this early and we're gonna flash it out on our opponent's turn as soon as we get our first land out. So, this is good for drawing cards on our opponent's turn. If they don't play anything that we can counter, then basically we just have lots of time on our hands. Unsummon for one blue, it's an instant, return to our creature to its owner's hand. So sometimes we'll let creatures get through, and then once they do, we'll bounce them back to our opponent's hand, which that'll save us some time in the long run, or if they're trying to remove some of our important creatures, we'll use that on our own stuff. So, uh, basically, anytime we don't have uh, enough removal, or we have removal, but it's not the best to play, then we'll just unsummon instead at the end of their turn. Brineborn Cutthroat. For one and a blue, you get a 2-1 Merfolk Pirate with Flash. When you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, put a plus one plus one counter on Brineborn Cutthroat. A large majority of the cards in this deck we're playing on our opponent's turn, and so we can just make this thing colossal. And then also, we have Unsummoned to pop it back into our hand just in case that's the reason we're running one. Fairy Vandal for one and a blue flash. You make, uh, well, you, everyone, we know what flash and flying do by now. Uh, you get a one, two Fairy Rogue for one and a blue. When you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Fairy Vandal. So basically, after we've gotten past eight lands, if we don't counter something on our opponent's side, uh, we can use the Spectral Sailor, draw two on our turn, and then most of our cards are below four CMC. So depending on how early we are, we can also draw an extra card with Spectral Sailor. Wall of Lost Thoughts for one in a blue. You get a 0-4 Wall Defender. When Wall of Thoughts enters the battlefield, target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. So, mill, 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 mill. Also, Defender, a creature with Defender can't attack. The reason we're going to mill here is because we want to get rid of as many things so that way we don't have to counter as much. Also, getting rid of land so that they can't play as many cards each turn also makes this a lot easier. Drown Secrets for one in a blue. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. This is great. Every time we play a card in this deck, except for land, it's going to mill our opponent for two. And then that's two things that were, are out of our opponent's hand. Also, since this is on their turn, since most of our cards are instant and we're going to play them on our opponent's turn, it just makes our life a lot easier. Negate. For one and a blue, you get an instant counter target non-creature spell. You know why that's in here. There are lots of non-creature spells specifically, and then it's really easy to 
counter those with a two drop. Teferi's Time Twist for one of blue. Exile target permanent you control. Return that card to the battlefield under its opponent's control, uh, under its owner's control at the beginning of the next step. If it's a creature, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Again, like Unsummon, we're gonna use this to save our stuff in case there are board wipes, because most of the time there will be. We don't have enough creatures to make board wipes worth it, honestly. But once they don't have any creatures out, they're definitely going to try to board wipe. So we pop one of our creatures back to our hand, put it back down, and then obviously Drown Secrets will trigger and email our opponent for two. Essence Capture for two blue. You get an instant, counter targets, creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature you control. Again, countering spells, that's what we want to do. And then also we can put that plus one plus one counter on either the Fairy Bound or the Brine Born Cutthroat, preferably Brine Born Cutthroat, because then it will get two counters if it's out. Convolute for two and a blue. Instant counter target spell unless its controller pays four. This is important because sometimes we just need a cheaper counter spell and then since it uh, pay four. Sometimes our opponent can't deal with that. Midnight Clock for two and a blue. Tap add uh, blue. And then for two and a blue, put an hour counter on Midnight Clock. At the beginning of each upkeep, put an hour counter on Midnight Clock. When the twelfth hour counter is put on Midnight Clock, shuffle your hand and graveyard into your library. Then draw seven cards. Exile Midnight Clock. So, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to make pretty much we're going to get as much mana out as possible, as early as possible. And then, on turns where we don't have to do anything, if we didn't have to counter a spell, we can just put an hour counter on Midnight Clock. So the faster we get to that, the faster we can reload our deck, and then the faster we can get more counter spells. Mystical Dispute. Oh, make sure you remember that it exiles Midnight Clock, so you can't do it more than once if you only have one. Mystical Dispute for two and a blue. This spell costs two less to cast if it targets a blue spell. Counter target spell unless its uh, controller pays two, uh, three. Excuse me. So if it's a blue spell, then it's just one blue. Uh, this also is not as good as Convolute, but it is good. No escape for two and a blue. Instant counter target creature or planeswalker spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Scry one. So, you know why this is in here. War of the Spark. <laughs> uh, we can counter planeswalker creature, and then since they're exiled, they can't go fishing for them. And then we get to scry one, so we get to look at the top card of our library. And then you may put that card on the bottom of your library. Didn't say please, for one a blue and a blue, instant counter target spell, its controller puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. This is a really good card, uh, there's not much to say about it, just more mill. Sinister Sabotage, for one a blue and a blue, counter target spell, survey one, survey is the same thing as, uh, scry, except surveil, uh, instead of putting it on the bottom, you can put it in the graveyard instead, we'll only do that with lands. Uh, Thought Collapse, one a blue and a blue. Counter target spells. Controller puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. So don't say please. And uh, Thought Collapse are pretty much the same card. Crush Descent, for three and a blue. Counter target spell unless its controller pays two. And then amass two. So since these are separate, regardless if you counter the spell or not, the amass two happens. And then amass two says put two plus one plus one counters on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a zero zero black zombie army creature token first. So this is getting us more blo another blocker, or since we have three of them, we can possibly get a six six zombie. Bow and Ash for two, a blue and a blue counter target creature spell draw card. So, more than likely, the higher CMC we're getting into, the more creatures we're running into it, so we're definitely saving this for a giant creature. Commence the endgame for a blue and a blue. This spell can't be countered. Draw two cards and amass X where X is the number of cards in your hand. This deck is going to keep cards in our hand because we have ways to draw off of our counters and from the Spectral Sailor, so we'll at least amass four. And last is 24 Islands, uh, which you could do with this. I don't know if I own the thing yet. Let's take a look. I don't. But there's the uh, 
the blue island, or the blue card that's not an island, that says uh, when it enters the battlefield, if you control three or more islands, then you're able to, uh, it, it enters untapped, and then you can grab an instant or sorcery back with it if it comes in untapped. Uh, I don't remember the name of the card, but you could add four of those in this deck, get a couple more, uh, get a couple more counter spells out of your graveyard. Uh, and then to make this deck better, uh, probably what I would do is I would drop all of the walls of Lost Thoughts and then just put only Drowned Secrets in. Because while it's great that we get four uh, when it enters, for Drowned Secrets, every time we play a blue spell, we mill. So if we had four on the battlefield instead of one, then every time we play a blue, they mill eight. Uh, other than that, I'd probably... Uh, replace like no escape you could replace with thought collapse or the didn't say please because then you can mill even more but it's also pretty good since we're able to exile uh, mystical dispute you probably want to replace mystical uh, dispute since it's possible that our opponent could pay the mana and then just replace that with a thought collapse so uh, but that's where I would up Grade. Also, I might take out like the Midnight Clock and then put Ashiok so that way we can exile our opponent's graveyard instead of having to worry about them trying to bring things back. But that's all I got. I will see you in the next video. Later.